Well, it looks like the Hillary email scandal could very much, very aptly be named Pussygate. Pussygate. And we're not going to show any woman on here. We're just going to show my cats. <laughs> but you can see the reference what I'm talking about. Now, everybody pretty much know, knows that Hillary is, at, at a minimum, bisexual or lesbian. But there's a lot of juicy emails in that email server that are personal nature. But that actually is not the real crux of the problem. But... It's actually going to, what's going to happen here, though, is going to make this email scandal get infinitesimally more attention. Because, you know, people might not give a damn about national security or, you know, the whole back door to the State Department's servers was wide open due to her email server. But juicy stories on Hillary's girlfriends and alleged girlfriends, and the public is going to be feeding on this for a while. So anyway, um, it's going to very aptly be named Pussygate, Pussygate, Pussygate. There's Goldie eating some treats. But, uh, you know, it's it's coming out from some tabloids, but it's, let me put it this way. You know, not everything out of these tabloids is bullshit. There's a, and you can pretty much filter out and see what's a reasonable stories. As a matter of fact, Jennifer Flowers said that Bill Clinton once told her that Hillary Clinton likes to, um, let's say, do oral sex on a woman more than Bill Clinton does, which says a lot. That was what Jennifer Flowers said that Bill Clinton said to her about Hillary. So, you know, it's not really out of the realm of possibility. But that's where this scandal is never going to lose attention because it's going to be like, hey, what did her, what's, who's her girlfriends? Now, here's another twist on this deal. Uh, one of her alleged girlfriends, according to, you know, the tabloids and stuff, like the National Enquirer or something, I think is one of them, uh, is a daughter of a high-ranking Republican. That's why the Republicans aren't saying much about this crap. They're all involved. Well, actually, you know, like a lot of the Republicans on the top are involved in uh, the gay um, male escort services and stuff. You know, They're all screwed up, man. They're all doing stuff that... I could tell you more even that went on, and I, I just don't want to because it might just be a problem for me to tell you some stuff that goes on even in the higher echelons of the, of the military and also in the government. Uh, they are really, the worst. The higher up they go, the worse they are. They're all, uh, do as I say, don't do as I do. That's 99.99% of them right there. It's all a bunch of BS. So... Uh, Actually, Huma Aberdeen is called Body Woman. Body Woman. I guess she's got the body. Anyway, so Rocky's like wondering about this too. You know, he's like thinking, hmm, Body Woman, hmm? Well, I wish I wasn't gilded here because uh, they took my maleness away when I was a little kitten. So I can't figure this out, but I'm trying to figure it out. That's what Rocky's saying anyway. So, um, but you know, this this thing with... Um, you know, the email servers, you know, it's it's weird how people are on, you know, and this is really what drives even the internet. It's not even the important issues, it's always the giddy issues, you know. It's always the stupid minor stuff. It's always like, I don't know, it's, it's almost like, you know, people don't care about important things. And it is important that most people, most people, the smart people do, but it is important that, you know, we understand that the email server was a wide open gaping hole of national security and it probably is the reason why all the office of personnel management records were downloaded by the chinese which is like this big 60 something page file and every, every single person working in in the in the military and in the government or in the government that's pretty bad news man i mean it wasn't just even about the emails themselves it actually left the back door open to the entire State Department servers, Defense Department, all kinds of shit. So, but they, it looks like the FBI has recovered a lot of the personal emails. I don't know how many of them, but, but they've already um, forwarded so many emails to the investigative team because when, it, you know, and that in itself hints at something else. In other words, if you realize, oh, it was about, um, going to a yoga spa class or some crap, they wouldn't have forwarded that to the investigative team. 
they would have forwarded only emails that contained information that was Department of State business. So it does look like she deleted emails, you know, just just from like a, you know, every reference you can get out of that, you can deduce this simply. You know, they would not be forwarding things to the investigative department uh, area if it, it was obviously personal in nature. They were forwarding things that looked appeared to be um, uh, carrying State Department information or classified information. So you know, at the at you know before this actually gets on and gets, gets concluded, it looks like she's guilty as all hell of all kinds of stuff. But where people, what's probably going to bring her down though, is like uh, beyond this. Is I think the public is going to really want to know what's in those juicy emails, the personal ones. They're not going to care about the freaking stuff at the State Department. That's just the way people are. Most people, most people. You know, where there's a juicy rumor that they, they, the people just go, ah, I want to know what she's, so who's her girlfriend? Who's the who's the daughter of the big Republican hotshot that she's allegedly seeing or whatever the hell it is, you know? Oh, by the way, this is a picture of Putin back when Putin was a uh, kitten. Kitten, so we're talking about Pussygate here, so, you know, we're only talking, uh, so I'm going to put cats up here instead of women, you know, but, but you know what the reference is. Uh yeah, this is Putin when he was a kitten right here, the gray one. And, you know, this is not Goldie. Interesting, that was his brother. I got another cat that looks just like his brother. Same markings. Isn't that weird? That one I found back in November of uh, 2014. That one that was coming around by the house last year. That I put the kerosene heater out so he wouldn't freeze and stuff. That's uh, he's got, That looks just like his brother. That he used to have. And this was his sister, the black cat. The little black cat, that was his sister. He was the last one to be adopted out of the bunch. Because he, he's a quiet little dude, but he's a, he's a good cat. So anyway, uh, getting on with Pussygate, it looks like, you know, now Putin really sees the situation. Even when Putin was a kitten, he would have figured this out. And I can tell you that, you know, the American people, you know, it's a mixed bag. But... Of the people that are not interested in the national security issues or anything like that, those people are probably going to be interested in, hey, who's her girlfriends? What's she saying in those emails? Let's tell us, tell us, tell us. So, I don't know. It's it's going to be a rumor. It's, it's going to be something that's not going to die down, man. And she's not going to be able to freaking joke this aside. Because you know what? She's not cool enough. You know, in other words, if she's, like, in other words, Hillary, she could say, yeah, I'm a lesbian, yeah, I was going out, yeah, I'm a really, I'm a stud muffin, whatever the hell it is. She's not going to play it like that, you know what I mean? Like, um, in other words, yeah, man, you know, I, I had my bitches, or I had my ladies, I had, you know, whatever it be. She's not going to play it like that. She won't be unabashedly, she'll get all, like, like a shrinking wallflower, you know what I mean? She'll freaking try to get her team around her to make up some BS garbage to hide what she did. Instead of just saying, yeah, yeah, I did that. I don't care. You know, she's not going to come out like that. That's why she's going to probably go down in flames. It's not even going to be over the actual uh, internet, you mean the uh, national security issue. It's going to be over the national security issue. But where people are basically still her fans, they're going to be like wondering, hey, who's all your girlfriends? Hey, hey, tell me who that Republicans are your girlfriends, too. I want to know. I want to know. Hey, what are you what are you lovers doing? <laughs> you know, it's not going to die down. It's going to follow her around all over the place. You know, if she comes out and says, "Yeah, I'm a lesbian. I don't care. I'm a hot bitch. I freaking love the ladies." You know, she'd probably get away with it, but she's not going to. She's not going to. You know, she's not going to. I know it. She's she's uh, I don't know. She's just a yo yo man. That's all she is. She's just freaking somebody. She thinks she's God on earth. And uh, Uma Aberdeen probably runs her freaking show anyway. You know, the one nickname, Body Woman. Yeah, actually, they got all these nicknames for these different people. Um, I think Bill Clinton's mistress is named Everready. You know, we talked about the batteries. We had the batteryizer. Yeah, Everready. So she wears a batteryizer, and that sparks up her, her sexual appetite again. That's how that works with Bill Clinton's girl, too. Anyway, we're probably gonna put, <laughs> we're gonna probably put some more stuff out about these different issues. I don't care, man. You know, I realize one thing: there's a lot of uh, American haters out there in, in the world. There's a lot of American admirers, and uh, 
you know, it's a mixed bag. But, uh, you know, I'll tell you one thing. The problems we got here in the United States are going to affect the world. If the USA goes down over this kind of crap that's going on, um, the only thing that's going to save the world probably is Putin the cat. Putin the cat and his two uh, main advisors, Rocky the cat and uh, Goldie the cat. So, you know, that's really what's going to happen. And, you know, when Putin the cat gets serious, he gets serious, man. He, he, he'll, he'll get in your analytical stuff and figure out what's going on. But, yeah, it, it does look like a caper of Pussygate. And I, I don't know why the major media isn't picking up on this, man. I, they're, they're lame. They're lame. I, I'll tell you what. I hate, I hate to freaking brag, but, man, you know, I am not really... You know, I talk very plain. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself at the end here. I talk very plain. I, I deliberately talk like Joe Schmo out off the street on purpose. You know, I'm really, I'm really far more intelligent than the way I talk. Um, and I have all the degrees in education to back it up and awards and scholastic achievement. But, uh, you know, I probably picked that up from my uncle. He's, he was like that, too. He was a top-notch CPA in business in New York City. Um, that was in Who So. He used to hate the phonies. Boy, did he hate the phonies. So, you know, I'm a straight shooter. And, uh, you know, I, I swear, it's so weird how this thing is just turning out because, you know, there's probably more people... That don't give a damn about this email server issue than do, unfortunately. But they are all going to be, of those people that aren't interested in about the email security server, this, the email security issue, and the thing that where our State Department uh, files could have got hacked into and it, Chinese downloaded all the Office of Personnel Management records on everybody that works in the government. Um, yeah, I think where those people don't care about that, they're going to be like, Hey, who's the ladies Hillary's been freaking going after? What's Stud Muffin been doing, man? So, this is going to be something that's going to be haunting her forever and a day, man. Because she's not going to be able to play it off cool. Nah, she's not going to say, Yeah, I'm a Stud Muffin. I just love the ladies, man. Just had this hot bitch over here. She, can, she, she ain't going to come off like that. If she came off like that nonchalant, she probably would get away with it. But not her. She's going to collapse. I know it. I know it. She's a daddy's little girl bullshit, man. You know? So anyway, um, Pussygate, it's a major freaking problem for Hillary. And uh, she's like she's like these two cats right here, man. She's staring at the headlights of a train wreck coming at her. And she doesn't know what to do. You know? She doesn't know what to do. So, I don't care. The Wicked Witch in the West is going to be melting. Hey, I'm melting, man. That's what's going to happen with her, so I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just forgot to put this out because I don't think anybody's telling you about this. If it's, it's in a, it's in some of the tabloids, and you know it does make a hell of a lot of sense because you know some of the, some of the things I know about Hillary from other information that was a lot more solid. Like, um, yeah, she does like the ladies, and it does make sense. She does have a lot of girlfriend uh, emails going back and forth on that thing. Oh, lady, you're some president. I could tell you, you'd make a really good president, right? Oh, my God. <laughs>